Hello my lovelies and welcome. I'm SJ, this is Infinite Fire Readings and this is going to be continuation of affirmations though in this case on the topic of health and healing. I'm going to refer to Mind Power again by John Cahoe and we're going straight to the affirmations chapter once more. Fantastic book, highly recommend. Um, I just find it really easy to read etc. So yeah, I'm going to jump straight in and we're going to be talking about how affirmations are effective in healing because a lot of people are out there doing that for themselves as well. I've healed certain things about myself at certain times. I'm still affirming for other things uh, at the moment which are coming to effect. I don't want to say gradually, I'm going to say quickly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, we all have our own journey and our own path. So um, yeah, or like you know, I'll go into it another time. I'm just working on certain things. It's all good. I'll talk about them later when they happen, as they are happen. Moving on. All right, let's get into it. So, we're going to start again in the affirmations chapter. Every day, in every way, it's getting better and better. That's a quote. The name, Emil Koe, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's a bit, that's a bit unfortunate, is it? I don't know. This name, Koe, Koe, Emil Koe. Please comment below. Um, may, so this name, Emile Coe, Coe, may not be commonly known today, but at the turn of the century, this pioneer in affirmation techniques was curing illnesses and teaching his discoveries in clinics all over Europe and North America. He caused quite a sensation in his day and his work is still talked about today, decades after his death. Coe found that his, I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I, you know, I mean to say it correctly, That's, I just want to put that out there. He found that his patients recovered much better and more quickly if they repeated a simple affirmation every morning upon rising and every evening before going to sleep. The affirmation he taught them was, every day in every way I'm getting better and better. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening, that's all. The effect was so dramatic that he wrote several books on the subject of self-suggestion and taught people around the world the curative properties of the mind when directed towards recovery. Kui's affirmation, I'm saying like Kui now, I'm going to just look it up. Kui's affirmation focused the patient's mind on every day, in every way, getting better and better. He is credited with the documented cures of thousands of people. So, a little short excerpt there um, from the book, though, such a powerful affirmation. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening, that's all. The effect was so dramatic, he wrote several books on the subject of self-suggestion and taught people around the world the curative properties of the mind when directed towards recovery. So. If you are focusing on healing something, this is a very powerful affirmation to start with according to the discoveries and practical application of this particular, you know, famous figure. <laughs> I would like to pronounce the name of correctly. Um, yeah, so every day in every way, getting better and better and better. Two minutes before getting up, two minutes before going to sleep, every day, that was it. Just affirming, affirming, affirming. Um, again, we've already spoken how you don't need to believe it, you just need to repeat it. Um, and you don't want to force that feeling. In fact, you just want to go with it. If you feel it, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You're still imprinting on the subconscious, subconscious mind what you want to be true and how you want to be and come about in a state of healing. So give it a crack if that's something that you're doing. Uh, comment below and let me know as well what results you have. I am very curious. Um, I might even be taking this on for my, I'll just say it, yeah, for my eyesight. So that's something I've been working on. I have had some results and things have been getting clearer. Um, so in theory, short-sighted is sort of where I was at, though I've had some breakthroughs with how I'm viewing my vision and that has helped me see clearer at times. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a process and a journey I'm going with. Perhaps I'll just do it morning and night and see how it goes. I tend to currently affirm whenever I feel the desire or the need to do so. Um, I've cured my skin as well. My skin is like completely flat and perfect now. Uh, it used to be um, covered in acne for the longest time um, and also I used to attack it but then I had cystic at one point and it, I tried everything to get rid of that. I tried changing my diet, I tried changing a whole bunch of things 
And what happened when it finally healed itself was when I, for one, for one, I stopped wearing makeup because I figured if I was going to have clear skin, I'm not going to be wearing makeup. Though, two, I was kind of forced into a situation where I couldn't wear makeup. So I went traveling with a bunch of friends and they told me don't bring makeup. And so I didn't. And um, I also was affirming, like, because actually my, you know, the vision that I had, you know, my blurry vision helped at that time because it, I'd look in the mirror and it'd be kind of blurry and I wouldn't see anything. I'm like, look how perfect and clear my skin is. So um, I would affirm that to myself as well, though, by accepting my skin as it was and going, you know what? It's there. I'm beautiful anyway. I changed my thoughts. So instead of saying I had acne, I said I had spots. So I changed it. I was like, no, nah, I don't have, I have spots. I have spots, not acne. They're just spots. They're my spots, whatever. Um, accepting, loving, and also saying those affirmations. Not that regularly at the time, but just with a lot more calmness than I had been before. Instead of stressing about my skin, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Um, and affirming for what I wanted. And I think that combination, within a month, it healed. Within a month of stopping stressing about it, it healed. So, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a really big one. I can talk more about my skin journey later, but that was something that I experienced. And it was absolutely wonderful, and I'm still very happy today. And anything, like any spots that I have, I literally search for them. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's nothing that let it go. Because um, it's like the, the smallest of blackheads that doesn't even want to get out. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Like, get out of there. <laughs> so I've got to change that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's, you know, something I've done. Hair changes, working on other things within my body as well. Um, always affirm that I'm fit and healthy. That's generally been the case. And yeah, um, yeah, feel free to comment below your success stories on your health because I do like seeing them as well. All the stories I see, the success stories are really inspiring also. Um, yeah, this was a bit of a short video, but I think it's, it was a good one. It was a good one. So let me know. I intend that this benefited you. I intend that this knowledge has assisted you uh, with your own, you know, health journey. And I, yeah, I would love to hear what happened. So please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Patreon below as well. And have a wonderful space time wherever you are. I'll catch you in your next reading slash video. Bye.